The V-Green 165 is a premium efficiency variable speed motor that provides tremendous program flexibility in terms of motor speed and time settings. The V-Green 165 enables a pool filtration system to run at the lowest speeds necessary to maintain a sanitary environment, which in turn minimizes energy consumption. Pool size, the presence of water features, the use of sanitary chemicals, and environmental factors will have an impact on the optimal programming necessary to maximize energy conservation. The V-Green 165 comes with a factory default setting. Once power is applied and the start key is pushed, the motor will automatically run the following schedule unless user-defined settings are entered. If power is cycled and the user does not press the stop key, the V-Green 165 will automatically start and run the program default schedule. This feature ensures the V-Green 165 will restart in the event of a power outage. Program customization may require some trial and error to determine the most satisfactory settings as dictated by the unique conditions of the application. In all cases, setting the V-Green 165 at the lowest speed for the longest duration is the best strategy for minimizing energy consumption. However, conditions may require running the V-Green 165 at a higher speed for some duration of time each day to maintain proper filtration to achieve satisfactory sanitation. The integrated interface controls the speed settings as well as the run durations. The V-Green 165 can run at speeds ranging from 600 and 3450 RPM. The start button must be pressed for the V-Green 165 to operate. The start LED will illuminate after the button has been pressed, indicating the V-Green 165 is capable of operating. Pressing the stop button will turn off the start LED and stop the motor if running. Customized duration and speed settings can be entered for step one, step two, step three, and override keys. Override can be temporarily enabled to operate the motor at speeds outside the normal schedule. The V-Green 165 must be stopped for programming the duration and speed for step one through step three keys. Override can be programmed when the V-Green 165 is either stopped or running. First, press the step one key. The duration setting LED will illuminate. Press the up or down arrows to change the duration. Next, press the step one key again to change the speed setting. The speed setting LED will illuminate. Press the up or down arrows to change the speed. Press any step or override key to save the duration and speed settings for step one. If the user decides not to save the settings, pressing the stop key will revert back to the previously stored setting. To set duration and speed for step two, step three, or override, repeat these same steps. When the user-defined settings have been entered, press Start to run the V-Green 165 based on the 24-hour schedule. The V-Green 165 can only be set to operate on a 24-hour schedule with no overlaps. If a user attempts to program a schedule with a combined duration for all three steps greater than 24 hours, the V-Green 165 will retain the current step time duration only and will zero out the other two step settings. If a power outage occurs, the V-Green 165 will automatically restart at step one when power is restored. The V-Green 165 will always run the priming sequence when starting from the off state, including an automatic restart following a power outage. Default prime settings are 2600 RPM for three minutes. When starting from the off state, the active LEDs for each step will turn on and the program duration and speed for each will blink for approximately three seconds each to indicate the stored schedule. The V-Green will then indicate that step one is running. If a user-defined schedule is less than 24 hours, a duration gap will exist between the end of step three and the resumption of step one. All step LEDs will remain off with the exception of the start LED which will remain illuminated. Pressing a step key other than the one currently operating will cause an immediate transition and the V-Green will continue operating from the point in the program schedule. The override feature can be engaged to temporarily run the V-Green 165 at higher or lower speeds 
ranging between 600 and 3450 RPM. To set the override while the motor is running, press the override key. Pressing the up or down arrows will enter changes that are automatically stored. Once the desired override duration elapses, the motor will automatically return to the programmed schedule at the point where it would normally be running. Pressing and holding the override key three seconds will cancel the override mode. The V-Green 165 has a schedule advance mode that allows a user to press the start key at one time of day, with the 24-hour schedule starting at a different time of day. To take advantage of the scheduled advance feature, press and hold the start key for more than three seconds. The start LED will begin to blink and the duration LED will be illuminated. Press the up or down arrows to start the desired delay time. The schedule advance mode can be canceled by pressing the stop key. The override feature will still function with schedule advance mode active. If a user presses step one, step two, step three, or start keys, the schedule advance will be canceled and the normal schedule will start. Pressing the stop key will cancel schedule advance as will a power outage. The V-Green 165 will then automatically restart and begin the regular schedule. The V-Green 165 user interface has a key lockout feature to prevent unwanted changes to the settings. To lock the keys, hold down the Step 1, Step 2, and Step 3 buttons simultaneously for at least 3 seconds. The active LEDs for Step 1, Step 2, and Step 3 will blink for 30 seconds, indicating that the keypad is locked. To unlock, hold all three step keys for at least three seconds. While operating in key lockout mode, the motor can still be stopped by pressing the stop key. The V-Green 165 user interface has a motor pause feature that will allow the user to temporarily stop the V-Green 165 for maintenance work without disrupting the 24-hour schedule, for backwashing the filter, for example. If the V-Green 165 is currently running, the user can press and hold the start button for more than three seconds and the V-Green 165 will stop and remain off until the user presses and holds the start button again for more than three seconds. The start and override LEDs will blink once every second, indicating that the motor pause feature is enabled. These LEDs will stop blinking once the feature is canceled. In the event that the outside air temperature drops below a set threshold, the V-Green 165 will automatically turn on at 39 degrees for eight hours, assuming the start button has been pressed. Once this eight hour period has elapsed, the V-Green 165 will check the ambient temperature again. If the temperature is still below the set threshold, the V-Green 165 will run for an additional eight hours. If the temperature is above the threshold, the V-Green 165 will automatically return to the 24-hour base schedule. Note that the freeze protection function will not operate unless the start key has been pressed, which can be confirmed by the illumination of the start LED. For more detailed information about the features of the V-Green 165, refer to the product user manual available online at www.centuryelectricmotor.com. This resource describes in greater detail the features showcased during this presentation, plus covers the fault status feature, offers troubleshooting tips, and provides details for integrating the V-Green 165 in applications with pre-existing third-party automation systems and controls.